Well, tonight the Red Cross in Plattsburgh train people on how to be a Red Cross volunteer. It doesn't take a lot of time before you're out of the classroom and working to help. Johnny Jones was back at the Red Cross shelter Thursday at the Crape Memorial Civic Center in Plattsburgh. I honestly couldn't picture myself spending my time doing anything else right now at this moment. Jones has been volunteering here since the shelter opened April 30th. I help with the feeding, I help with the registration, any questions and concerns that they might have, um, you know, as well as keeping them company and just you know, being their friend. These people have been great. Harvey Blanchard is one of about 50 people staying at the shelter. He says at the age of 60, he has to start over. That's because his home at the Lakeside Apartments is still filled with water and not much is worth saving. Maybe some pictures on the wall, you know, stuff that were up high on stands, you know, but everything basically, bedding, furniture, clothing, is all destroyed by the water. You know. Blanchard hopes to have a new apartment far away from the water by next week. But shelter manager Liz Murphy Can you make it happen? <laughs> says they will keep helping other people, and that means staffing the shelter 24 hours a day with people willing to give their time to people who have lost so much. The volunteers are the lifeblood of the American Red Cross. None of the services we provide could be, could be delivered without the volunteers. If you're interested in volunteering and help is needed across the region, there are more training classes coming up. We have the full list on our website, fox44now.com. Reporting live, Matt Austin, Fox 44, Local News.